The new American empire has been a long time in the making. Its roots go back to the early 19th century, when the United States declared all of Latin America its sphere of influence and busily enlarged its own territory at the expense of the indigenous people of North America, as well as British, French, and Spanish colonialists and neighboring Mexico. Much like their contemporaries in Australia, Algeria, and Tsarist Russia, Americans devoted much energy to displacing the original inhabitants of the North American continent and turning over their lands to new settlers. Then, at the edge of the 20th century, a group of self-conscious imperialists in the government, much like a similar group of conservatives who a century later would seek to implement their own expansive agendas under cover of the War on Terrorism, used the Spanish-American War to seed military bases in Central America, various islands in the Caribbean, Hawaii, Guam, and the Philippines. With the Second World War, our nation emerged as the richest and most powerful on Earth and a self-designated successor to the British Empire. But as enthusiastic as some of our wartime leaders, particularly President Franklin D. Roosevelt, were for the task, the American people were not. They demanded that the country demobilize its armies and turn the nation's attention to full employment and domestic development. Peace did not last long, however. The Cold War and a growing conviction that vital interests, even national survival, demanded the containment of the Soviet Union, helped turn an informal empire begun during World War II into hundreds of installations around the world for the largest military we ever maintained in peacetime. 